This week on Lemons Car Spotting. Hey everybody, it is Eric, it is Nick. This is Lemons Car Spotting, in case you didn't know from the title, so we're going to go right at it. Oh, we're going into a mark that my family is familiar with, Rover. <laughs> my mom is a P4 owner. Uh, Google it. You will need to. <laughs> um, this, of course, is the later Rover SD1 slash 3500. Is that right? Yep. Um, yep. Had the Rover all aluminum V8 that is the copy of the 60s one from the General Motors that wasn't good when they stole it and wasn't <laughs> good 40 years later when they were still using it in Land Rover Discoveries. This is somewhere in between. It is abandoned probably for that reason. Um, I will say this thing is a real ahead of its time Tesla Model S in the sense that it's a giant luxury five-door hatchback. Right. Um, these were used as cop cars in the UK, I believe. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, pretty cool. Um, weird for sure. Where did you buy these? Because these were sold in the US. I don't know. Is this, I don't know where you bought one. I mean, they didn't, I mean, I guess Land Rover dealers. Yeah, that's a really good question. Which, where would you even find a Land Rover dealer in yeah. 1980? You know, yeah. all the, all the Leyland stuff was going out of business in yeah. 1980. I don't, think they sold them here for more than a couple years uh, yeah boy that's a good question post in the comments of what abandoned mg <laughs> dealership you had to go to to yeah. buy a rover 3500 yeah uh the uh the cop cars by the way had the yellow and orange stripes across the side they're called jam sandwiches so ah. uh, now you know that now we know now All you right. know yeah moving on uh, man what a weird thing these are. Um, I, I know I'm cheating because I'm looking at it. It's a Kaiser Manhattan, but cool. uh, shipping magnet Henry Kaiser. I think it's Henry. <laughs> yeah. Henry. Yeah. And then uh, Henry J was his son. Yeah. Who um, also had a car. And, and, and the namesake of a real terrible little car that's also kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the styling on these was way ahead of their time um, and arguably, you know, set the tone for post-war car design, at least as far as interiors go. And then, you know, obviously the Manhattan was like the top trim. Um, and so it's got all the chrome and all the stuff. It has all the trimmings, I guess you would say. Uh, but in the classic American car builder fashion, uh, all of the technology underneath the skin of it was yeah. roughly 19-teens technology. <laughs> yeah. It's a flathead six, uh, the high performance version was a really crappy supercharger, which again, kind of groundbreaking, but also very crudely applied. Um, yeah, I, I doubt we'll ever see a Kaiser Manhattan in lemons or a Kaiser Darren, even which was the sports car. Uh, they were high end cars of a sort at the time uh, and therefore are worth actual money, but these are really cool. Uh, the Henry J was the economy model and was still, you know, it was a separate brand, and then you could buy them through the Sears catalog as an right. Allstate. Uh, yeah. So those, those, uh, a lot of those got cut up into gassers, but we would love to see one in lemons. Yeah, boy, the Sears Allstate and uh, the parallel Montgomery Ward's Riverside catalog, <laughs> where you could buy yeah. just vehicles, like yeah. you could buy a Benelli motorcycle or a Vespa or a Lambretta through one of those two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, and then apparently a, a car. I mean, imagine yeah. a mail order. Uh, I mean, another thing that's ahead of its time. I mean, isn't Tesla doing direct to consumer sales? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, um, you know, it's it, the, going on the Sears catalog and buying a Henry J is no different than buying a Model 3 today. Yeah. So. What's what's uh, there's no no such thing as a new thing. It's all been done. <laughs> exactly. You can also buy a house through the Sears catalog. Oh, yeah. Uh all right, next up. Oh, <laughs> man, as a fan of the San Francisco Giants, um, I still would not drive this car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what inspires you to A, do this, and then B, okay, we're doing the bottom. <laughs> right. We're doing the mirror and the A-pillar, doing the gas door, Doing the door handle, but not all of it. <laughs> I, 
I, uh, I, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, interesting choices. I gotta say, uh, man, also parking underneath a, an elevated rail, which I assume is what that is with the top down, <laughs> not <laughs> yeah. a great move. Uh, there's all kinds <laughs> of stuff that comes off of those things. Yeah. For and sure. birds like to hang out in the rafters. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, um, yeah, some, somebody's living a life. I don't yep. know if it's best life. Um, was this naturally a convertible? It looks like it was. I think so. Uh, this is a uh, CLK uh, convertible, I believe. The The door seems to be sagging considerably yeah. <laughs> on this it, one. You know, Mercedes of this era, I feel like, just didn't age particularly well. I mean, it's sort yeah. of the classic modern-ish German car where the drivetrains are reasonably okay, but everything else the trim the electronics the everything just sort of crumbles in front of your eyes which makes it a good choice for a lemons car also true yeah. but i'm glad you got this one uh, oh man <laughs> yeah i definitely need to cheat on this one uh, this is an, i'm gonna call it an old shit uh, which maybe <laughs> is right. You, know, you sure. can't say that on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it is. I, I don't know where you somebody would even spot a car like this. Uh, man, an old shit club 11 R, which was a short lived. I wonder why manufacturer created by partnership between Citroen and the Romanian government. Uh, and apparently Starfleet. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, one of several brands that have ripped off the badging <laughs> from Star Trek. Uh, see also uh, Tiger Trucks out of yeah. Oklahoma. Um, right. Man, this is uh, uh, from the classic General Motors School of Design, which probably has a lot in common with Eastern European car design, wherein you fold a piece of paper three times and you have <laughs> the layout of the car with no complex uh, curves on it whatsoever because it's cheap to manufacture. Uh, looks like it has the French three lug wheels on the, you know, whatever three inch wide tires. Yeah. This is the pinnacle of cheap motoring uh, for the people uh, at the end of the uh, Romanian uh, communist era. I think if yeah. I've got my history, right. Super weird. Uh, I can't believe there's one in the United States at all. Uh, I bet there's a ridiculous story as to how it came to be in the, in the United States. Yeah, for sure. Now, being based on a Citroen GS, I have a, the, there's a gentleman not too far from me that's got a GS parked in front of his house, which I thought was weird until today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. One of the options on a GS, did it ever make it to production is a question. There was a rotary Citroen GS that was not a Mazda. It was their own, you know, a French rotary. I don't know if those ever made it to actual production, but... Um, um, and whether or not you could spec an old shit with a rotary. <laughs> uh, but, uh, boy, if you do that, you're way out in the weeds of being weird. Um, and the Star Trek <laughs> connection is just uh, the icing on the cake. That's Pretty messed cool. up. <laughs> Who posted that, by the way? You get a gold star for that. Compact that was spots. Yeah. Compact spots. Um, we don't know where that person is, I don't think. Um, looks like Connecticut plates. Yeah, somewhere in the east, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, Just when I thought that <laughs> I was going to be off the hook by not having to ID that last one, I have no idea what this is. It says Scion XB truck. That's obviously not true. It could be an XA truck. I think I think it's an XA, yeah. The, the uh, last of the little Scion whatever box things. Uh, the ones that were a little roundy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all of those Scions, the, the little ones anyway, the XB and the XA had whatever that Toyota motor is, the 1.5 yeah. that was in the Echo and then was later in the Yaris that is just an incredible, it makes about 100 horsepower and it will run forever. Yeah. Um, I mean, just the classic example, the counterpoint you know, well, I'm driving a BMW and yeah, all of the valve stem seals blew out at 100,000 miles, but that's because it's a high end German car and has high performance. And like, meanwhile, you have this built to an incredibly cheap standard 1.5 liter four cylinder that will 
categorically not do that until the clock hits seven digits probably so um yeah bmw make your engines more like the scion xa truck <laughs> and uh and and then and then you have something so uh yeah uh, there you go and we're burying the lead somebody made an xa truck what yeah the- <laughs> yeah and it's kind of great like yeah. the execution is yeah above average i gotta say as far as ute execution like even going so far as that the roof line has a bit of a an overhang spoiler Uh yeah uh and the 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 two-tone looks good on it and the gate well i don't know if the gate actually works but it looks like uh, it does although it also looks like it could be like wood with the um right the locking mechanism from the local dive bar right <laughs> that's, that's what i was seeing <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh i do appreciate the mini trucking era jaunty license plate angle um yeah so yeah yeah that's pretty good you know you know where this builder's roots come from i think <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yep oh, oh. yes yeah. Uh, classic. Uh, I believe this episode should be airing sometime around Christmas. So uh, you get the red and the green here, uh, looking pretty <laughs> solid. Uh, yeah. the, man, the view. What do you say about the Saturn view? I uh, mean, well, it's- yeah, it's somebody, <laughs> you know, I've never taken the time to make the list of. General Motors in this era, they had the cruise with the Z and they right. had what else did they have? But it was like the view is another like very much the Midwestern start shirt baby boomer trying to guess what the kids of the 90s think is cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like what, everything what? branding wise from General Motors from that era, like just smacks of that being the origin. This is what I imagine an executive from Lansing thinks the kids drive to the beach, uh, you know, <laughs> for a day of yeah. uh, campfires and surfing and right. uh, fighting with dirt bikes because they their kid was watching Karate Kid once. Um, so, <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, like getting in a brawl with a with the opposing rollerblade gang. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> the Saturn View is the vehicle that personifies General Motors out of touchness, perhaps the most. Uh, yeah, yeah. But the side benefit of that out of touchness was the time where they accidentally put in a Honda V6 right. and thereby making it a halfway decent car. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. all of them had that, though. So uh, the, the red lines, they made a Saturn View red line, and, yeah, they put the Honda J35 in it. And then the last generation they did a facelift at the very end as saturn was gasping for air and put the j35 in all of those which is pretty great so yeah. it's yeah. a cheap way to find a, a honda v6 is right like yeah yeah. Yeah. I, yeah people at the pick and pull might not be shopping in the saturn view section if you want a, a swap <laughs> for your lemons accord or whatever it may be yeah uh all right uh let's see uh i think, I think i'd do the hoopty. yeah uh man it's a tough one uh, I, I think there's a pretty slam dunk candidate, which is where we started, and it is the resting condition of all Rover SD ones in this country. Pretty much sold for like two years. Again, who the hell? Where would you even go to buy one? Uh, it's using a 25 year old Buick 215 <laughs> into the 80s with Lucas Electrics. Of course, it is sitting on four flat tires in a yard. Uh, yep. you know, with an old truck that actually runs, uh, pretty, pretty standard stuff. And as back roads of Eastern Washington, right. A Rover would be a pretty entertaining <laughs> lemons race car. <laughs> well, and all of the- it's been done more than once, but it's definitely one of those cars that we're not tired of seeing yet. Yeah. So always, uh, always entertaining, always yeah. entertaining in some fashion. Yeah. 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 Well, certainly to us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, let's see. God, Lemon's build. I mean, um, this is certainly a candidate. Um, We've never seen a Kaiser of any kind. Um, That would be great. Um, Be the only one on your block with an Ult Chit. Um, (laughs) XA pickup. 
I'm going to go with the Saturn view. Um, Saturns and lemons tend to do pretty well. If you beat the system and get the one with the Honda V6, you might hurt some feelings out there. You know, <laughs> like that's always my goal with a lemons build is you want the paddock chatter to be, hey, man, you know, I was out there. I was dicing for the apex and, uh, you know, the tire pressure on the left rear wasn't quite right. So my grip wasn't optimal. So, uh, you know, I just it but it was pretty fast also, but I just, I got passed by the Saturn view. Uh, so that's what I want is I want a real racer to be relaying a story about getting passed by a Saturn view in, in the road race. So uh, this is your opportunity to make that happen. I think the judges will probably go easy on you. If you want to soup up the suspension, um, you know, certainly easier on you than most anything else that came with a Honda J 35. Oh, so uh, yeah, there you go. Saturn view uh, red line, make it happen. <laughs> That's right. And there's plenty of room for storage inside. Yep. That'll do it for lemons car spotting this week. Uh, find your Saturn view to build into your race car. And in the meantime, keep finding weird cars on the street to talk about them. Oh man. I mean, that thing, it's just so lame. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's somehow, better than the Aztec and worse at the same time. Yeah. 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 It's less offensive, which makes it worse. 